ozone therapy is something that's been around for 150 years, but recently ozone therapy clinics have been popping up all over the U.S. and people have been flocking to them to increase circulation, improve absorption of nutrients, detoxify the body, and overall just increase energy, among other things. So I had the chance to visit ozone clinics to learn about the science behind it from the man who oversees the operation, Dr. Ravi Patel. Ozone. Ozone is actually three oxygen molecules put together, okay? Usually oxygen is just two molecules, right? The one we breathe is two molecules. But when you add a third oxygen molecule, it actually makes it pretty unstable, but also very active because when you get, it gets pushed into your system, because it's so unstable, the extra oxygen particle gets released and helps in terms of detoxifying your body. In this clinic, you sit in the heated pod for 30 minutes and allow the ozone to penetrate the skin. They claim it can also help with symptoms of a variety of mental illnesses. The co-founder says her son was having delusions and hallucinations daily until she discovered ozone therapy. Literally after two sessions in the sauna, to this day he hasn't had a delusion of any kind immediately went away and his immune system he hasn't been sick in three years i'd say our most common reaction in the text that we get to prove it um, is just two or three hours later they have a boost of energy and they just feel amazing and that is all contributed to the fact that we're getting their oxygen level up my skin looks a lot better and i have a torn meniscus in my knee and it feels better um more energy and just overall feel better. Uh, my energy levels were much higher. Um, that kind of three o'clock time when you have to pick up the kids, I'd always be dragging in this. Um, it just kind of gave me a pickup. We spoke to Dr. James Pinckney, who says the therapy was initially used to clean medical utensils, but was later found to be beneficial for the human body. He says there have been a couple of studies out of Europe, but there's not much data out of the U.S. trials yet. He says despite potential benefits, consumers need to be savvy about where they go for treatments as it is not highly regulated. You want to ask the questions, okay, what, what type of ozone generator do you have? Uh, is there metallic objects on the inside of that ozone? You want to look for something that has seals because ozone really shouldn't be inhaled. So whatever part of the body that you're treating, it needs to be completely encapsulated in the uh, closure, whether it's plastic around the body part. Uh, but when we're administering ozone from a therapeutic medical grade standpoint, uh, we have a complete seal so the ozone is penetrating into the certain body part. He says you need to make sure the components that create the ozone are made of glass or plastic. Metallics could introduce contaminants into the ozone. The owners of this clinic say many of their clients come daily, but that benefits can be seen by going just once a week. Yeah, so just like with so many things th that are available to consumers, you just have to be smart about where you're going, who's performing it, research that facility before you go. Um, but it was crazy how many people I met that were just coming in and out during the time of the story that said, I have to come here now. So how did you feel afterwards though? You did. You I felt pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't have any specific ailments or anything that I was looking to, you know, work on at that right. time, but I did, it could have been placebo, but I felt energetic. All right. I felt energetic and literally every person that came in, at first I thought, are they planting these people here? But they kept coming in, kept coming in and they kept saying, I, this has changed my life. I, you know, I have to keep going that sort of thing. Um, mm -hmm. So it, it's interesting and I think this is something that we're going to start to see more and more. But as Dr. James said, just be careful as where you go. Make sure you're doing yes. the research. Yes, the, the more that, like for example, we saw cryotherapy. Um, this is which is kind of the opposite. I guess right. this is heat, that, that's, that's cold. Um, but we saw cryotherapy start to pop up years ago and now they're everywhere and people are very well educated. So this right. is sort of, we're right on the cusp of the ozone therapy. And you heard it here first. Exactly. Uh, let's talk the box office. It was another strong